What's up my dudes, my name is Sister Turley and this is the track review of 2013 Habila MX. So, I was going balls to the wall on this gameplay right here. Uh, I don't know what the heck I was doing, but gosh, I forgot how fast these 252 smokes were. They're gnarly, man. Like, if you hold down the gas, you can get somewhere on these little suckers. They're quick, so uh, this track's perfect for a two-stroke, too. It's just kind of a sandy vibe track where you can just never really let off in the corners and tons of fun jumps. The jumps are just perfectly spaced apart on this track, and uh, it's got, like, a bunch of different fun jumps where it, like, you'll hit a tabletop, then you'll go in a corner, and it'll be, like, double, 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 like, carrying your speed through a bunch of jumps, and uh, I just love sections like that where it's not, it's kind of like a Nationals rhythm section if that makes any sense and a lot of times national tracks don't have a whole lot of that they just they have more just your standard just kind of one jump in every uh, rhythm section or just uh, like one or two tabletops or something like that and then it's another corner or something but I love sections that have like just super fast double 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 stuff like this right here we can just get to scrubbing on it like crazy and uh, it's just a ton of fun so uh, this track's so cool as far as like just the I don't really know even how to explain it. A lot of tracks just have their own feeling and it just, it, it's impossible to explain. Like you have to ride on it to really know what it feels like, but uh, it's so, tons of fun when you do get on this track and it'd be a lot of fun on a 125 too on some of these straightaways. You'd be in six gear, just wide open, NOS button, jetpack. I mean, that's what I feel like on this 252 stroke. So uh, this bike's a lot of fun, man. I forgot how the 252 stroke, it's so much lighter than the 450, but yet it's almost got the power of it too so um it's just some tracks have those like one really big jump that'd be really hard to hit on a 252 stroke but for the most part it can hit everything that a 450 can so uh and it's lighter and it's going to go through whoops and stuff like that way easier it feels better to me in the corners than a 450 the 450 is kind of clunky in the corners so um like i said the only thing it's kind of lacking on is just a little bit of torque for uh just humongous crazy jumps and stuff that sometimes are on tracks that you kind of need a 450 to hit but uh yeah this track's tons of fun and uh, just a lot of these sections you just get going crazy fast and just never let off and and uh, it's cool because like it's made the track itself is made to go fast on but it also is tricky because like right here you see all that roughness it even though you can go fast it's like tough to go fast on it so uh, it's a lot of fun it just the whole sand filling makes it all come together and all the off-track stuff looks really good too so I uh, got a lot of nice like barriers and fence kind of things going on and the yellow sticks and whatnot and you got the trees off the track which uh, just kind of fills it all in and it makes it look pretty good so uh, yeah, it just feels like a legit motocross track. I don't know. Sometimes tracks just, they feel like somebody just kind of made them out of thin air and they're not really that good. A lot of times that's how motocross tracks are, but sometimes you can tell like when it's, either it's a real track or somebody's really took the time to sit there and think about the layout. And you can definitely tell when a track's legit and real and feels right like this one right here. So um, yeah, it's just tons of fun. And if you're into sand tracks, this is definitely one for you because it's tons of fun and the jumps are fun on it too. So all right, so let me play this back in some third person, show you guys some different stuff. So, yeah, you come out of this first corner, and uh, I almost did a wide open video on this track because you could definitely do it. There's a lot of these corners where it's just never really have to let off at all. So I just got to willy in on that straightaway. I don't know what what the heck, man. Uh, you can get like that on a lot of sections on this track. I'm not sure. Like, I did it right here, too, a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's just perfect shifting or like leaning back far enough or what it is but uh i don't know man or if it's this gnarly 252 stroke and the power is just insane i don't know but but uh for whatever reason this track's pretty easy like you can carry your speed out of the corners and willy at the same time you know it's not like you're it's not like you got to slow down and then try to willy it's you can still carry all your speed but just lean back and, and you can still willy and just carry all that momentum so a lot of times tracks you can willy on them but you would have to slow down and then pop the clutch or do something but this one it's like there's enough traction in it to where you can just lift up that front wheel pretty much anywhere you want to so um yeah this track's tons of fun and you can just carry so much speed down this section right here and there's no limit I'm telling you how fast you can hit that corner. It's it could get scary fast. I mean, real quick. I'm talking scary fast. Like vortex, you can't even tell what's going on because everything's flying past you so quick. But uh, yeah, this track's tons of fun, and I really enjoyed riding on it here. And I'm gonna start riding this 252 smoke a whole lot more because this thing is bad to the bone. I love this bike. Ugh, I don't know, man. It's the 
it would be hard for me to not want to ride this. If, like, if I really took the time to learn it and whatnot, I could probably get pretty quick on it. But, like I said, it's, all, it's just lacking a little bit in the torque. Uh, just a little bit on that torque to where sometimes you'll have those humongous quads or something. And uh, in the 450 class, everybody's going to be hitting it in the pros. So you kind of need a 450 for bigger sections like that. But it would be tons of fun if uh, somebody was out there rocking it out on a 252 smoke or a 125 in the 250 class. So um, if they let these bikes run with the 250Fs, oh my God, put the throw those 250Fs away. I, I want to be on this bad boy. But it's like I'm debating whether having it on the, in the 450 class. Uh, but uh if they let it in the 250F class, that would be insane. That'd be awesome because I wish they would do that in real life too. Like make it to where the 252 strokes can ride with the 250Fs and the pros. You would the two strokes could finally make a comeback if they did that because then people would think, oh man, so maybe some of the uh, factory teams would go back to the 252 stroke and really soup them up, make them awesome suspension, and then you would really get to see the how they can compete straight up with a 250F and probably beat them. So um, just kind of looking at it at, on paper, 252 strokes seem uh, like they are way faster than a 250F, but on like a supercross track, it's tricky because you got to have that torque, like a four-stroke torque, and they add so much power on the pro bikes, on the pro 250 four-strokes, to where they pretty much feel like two strokes anyways. So, um, but what I'm saying is like if they really added added some uh, factory parts and stuff to a 250 two-stroke, it could be competitive in the 250F class. So. Uh, that would just be really cool. I hope they do that one day. I hope that I've kind of thought they would start kind of doing that soon, but I don't know. They they kind of allowed it there. Like uh, I guess it'd be I don't know if Loretta Lens did it, but a lot of local tracks have been kind of doing that, where they'll let the 252 strokes ride with the 250Fs. Uh, but because finally the 250Fs are getting up to date to where they're about as quick as the 252 stroke but i still think you could whoop them on a 252 stroke if you had the skill and everything so uh but anyways so this track i'm gonna give it a solid i gotta get a, got uh, uh i'm talking like crazy i'm stuttering here uh i gotta give it a 10 overall and i'm gonna say the difficulty uh i'm gonna say it's medium difficulty so anyways i appreciate all you guys watching these videos and i'll keep on making them thanks guys